So let's start off by acknowledging that a data breach and a data leak are actually very similar. They do resemble each other quite significantly. How they happen and how they originate vary a little bit. So there are some subtle differences between a breach and a leak. Now with a data breach, think of this as a very targeted and forceful attack on a company, on a site, on an organization. So we're talking about a malicious actor, a hacker, whatever you want to call them. They are targeting a company or a site with the intention of ultimately stealing data. That's what happens in a data breach. So in the case of a data leak, it may be that an attacker has stumbled onto a certain vulnerability, which he wasn't looking for uh, from the get-go. And that resulted in data being exposed or leaked. Or it could even be an insider of that company who by accident makes that same finding. And that results in data being leaked and exposed to people who are not authorized to see it. But let me try and give you an example that we can try and wrap our heads around this. So think of yourself walking to a car dealer, uh, buying a brand spanking new BMW, driving that home, parking it in front of your house, and in the morning you find that your car is gone. Now, in the case of a data breach, that would have meant that somebody came over to your car, smashed the window, hotwired the car, and left with your vehicle. That would be the equivalent of a data breach. Now, a data leak, on the other hand, would have been that you drove this car home and you were so excited that you forgot the keys in the ignition and you even left the doors open. So somebody happened to walk by your car and try the door handle and realized that you had the keys in the ignition and drove off with your car. The outcome is rather similar, but how it actually originated, two different things. Check, 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 check.